Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Greetings, O house of Israel. I am Malak Shemaya, and I am the Chief Executive Officer for the United Nation of Israel, our nation, your nation, one nation under the Most Almighty Yahweh, our power and strength. We stand at the door of our reconciliation. We stand at the door of our great gathering. It is time, O Israel, for us to come together as a people, put aside our religious differences, put aside our doctrines, put aside our philosophical views, for we are a nation. We are not a camp, a club, a group, a Knesset or organization. We are the nation that the Almighty called forth out of Avraham, Isaac, and Yaakov. We are a Shemitic people by bloodline descendancy. We are Hebrew by ethnicity, and we are Israel according to our nationality. So let us continue to walk. Let us continue to understand who we are as a people and come together as a nation. The Almighty is the same as he was yesterday, and he is the same today. He spoke through the mouth of the prophets of old, and he speaks today through those that he calls forward to speak and utter the words that he has brought forth for Israel to understand. And so I have a message that I would like to deliver to you, O house of Israel, in this day and time that the Almighty has brought forward. This message was pre-written, which the Almighty guided me to speak upon. And it goes as follows. The Almighty is cleansing the dry bones of Israel to come together in this day, purging upon cleansing and cleansing upon purging. For the children of Yah shall be purged. With a new heart shall they be fashioned and cleansed. Therefore, it shall not be said that the children of Israel continues to turn to the right for idols and to the left for their own vanity, for they shall walk according to the instructions and along the pathway that the Yahuwah has made. How shall they walk without direction? How shall they be guided without Yahuwah's anointed? Who is Yah's anointed but those of whom have been sent by Yah? How shall they be sent but by the spirit of Yah, shining and resting upon whom he has brought forth? For Yahudah has come forth, tearing through the thickets, uttering the roar of today, as it was in the days of old. And those words are, that roar is, let my people go. Flesh upon flesh, bone upon bone, shall Yisrael stand girded as the righteousness of Yahuwah. Not according to man's order, not according to what man believes is right. But according to Yahweh's righteousness, shall Yisrael be established. As we look back upon our transgressions as a nation, let us not repeat those transgressions, but let us also not look back to repair what has been broken. For what has been broken shall wash away. It is time to look forward to the future, O Yisrael, for the Almighty has declared it, a new covenant has the Almighty declared, not according to that which has been broken, but according to what shall be made new by the will of Yahuwah. Hear, O Israel, who shall be against us? Who shall rob Yah of his glory? Who shall take the children of Yah captive again? For there is a great controversy in the earth that has been weighed in the balance of the righteousness of Yahuwah a just balance and a just measure for a just reward. Some shall be rewarded with Yahweh's vengeance. Whom and whom shall be able to stand? Whom shall be able to stand the destruction of Yah? Thus saith Yahweh, Hear, O Israel, open your eyes, unclog your ears, for my word and my declaration has gone forth. Let go of your idols, put down your vanity, and humble thyself to me. For I am he that has called you forth from the womb of the law, who is your mother. Come forth and be born, for the crowning of the head has been brought forth, and now the body shall emerge. I am your Abba, I am thy father, O Israel.
You are my son, both male and female. As a nation, I have declared you. How long, O Israel, will you reject me for that which has not called you forth? How long will you reject me for that which cannot deliver you? I am your savior, for I am thy father. Am I dead, O house of Israel? Who can take me to the sides of the pit? Who has contended with me, O house of Israel? Your vanity has caused you to walk contrary to me. But I am here today pleading with you, O my son, even my firstborn. The birthright belongs to you, O house of Israel. Shall you continue to exchange it for broken cisterns that cannot hold water? I am the living waters, and I give it freely to my son. Your reward is with me, and I shall take vengeance upon all that has sought out to destroy you. Turn, turn, turn from your unclean things, and I shall overturn, overturn, and overturn your destruction. For my judgment and my vindication for my people is upon the earth. And who shall be able to stand it? So be it. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, Israel, let this message sink in. For as we look at different things that are happening throughout the earth today, some say it's by happenstance. Some continue to walk and do the things that they continue to do each and every day. They continue to have fun. They continue to party. They continue to engage themselves in everything known to man. And it's OK to enjoy yourself. But you need to know, O house of Israel, that the time is at hand. The time of your deliverance is right here, right now. So don't forsake your humility towards Yah. Don't continue in religion and doctrine that cannot save you. For Yah is not hearing a ritual practice today. He is hearing and watching those that will be obedient to his call in this day and time, just as he was watching Israel in ancient Egypt when he told Moshe to warn Israel to put the blood of the lamb over the doorpost. Today, O house of Israel, your warning is you have to hear what thus saith Yah in this day and time. Thank you again. Shalom, shalom. Hundred thousand forty-four thousand. Hundred thousand forty-four thousand. Hundred thousand forty-four thousand. Hundred thousand forty-four thousand.